Hey, what's up everyone? This is Cowboy B from Wet Jet Performance. Just want to show you guys a way to get your temps down about 20 to 30 degrees even in your hull with the Wet Jet Performance Ram Air System. We had precision cut frog skins made just for the RXPX21. Took us about four months to get them made. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you take that bolt out here, take this bolt out here to start with. Once you get those bolts out, this slides forward, not backwards. So all you do is give it a little bit of loving. Pops out. Once we get it out, we're gonna focus on this area right here, because this is where we have the frog skins cut for. So we'll get all this out the way so we can get in here and use the cutout tool to get the opening to cool the hull. All right, here you was, here's the template for where you're gonna cut. Remember, this was made specifically for us. That's why it fits, so why it doesn't have a problem. You can take a two inch hole saw, pump two holes in here, or you can cut out the whole rectangle with a cutout tool. I'm gonna cut out the whole rectangle to get as much airflow as I possibly can instead of doing the two hole saw. But I know most people don't have a Milwaukee cutout tool or a Ryobi cutout tool. So the two inch hole saw is gonna be your friend and the easiest to go and cover right up. So I'll show you the finished product for this cutting this whole part once I finish here in one moment. I don't have a helper here, so I can't show a video of me cutting it, and I don't want to mess it up, so you're just going to have to see it afterwards. All right, I finished cutting it up. Everything's good to go. Here's the old piece. And I'll button it up for you and show you what the finished product looked like. I like everything finished and looking right. So this hole will look like it was meant to be here. All right, it's up here, as you can see. Looks dope, perfect fit. Had these specifically cut, worked with frog skins. So we can be the dealer for these and make it, you can only get them here at Wet Jet Performance to fit on the RXP in this fitment. Otherwise you'll have to put circles up here and all this other crazy crap. But you'll get airflow from here that flows all the way back. So we're gonna use Sidu's faux intake system. It's just here for decoration, but we're gonna make it functional. And this right here is getting redone because we wanted a complete kit. All we did was cut it to get the general shape. So this is the prototype piece. So once we got the general shape cut, we lasered it, redid it, trimmed it all up real nice, and we made our own piece that has a flap here and goes down and connects like OEM. And this is all smooth right here. So you have a straight shot and this piece is a more of a finished piece. It's getting made. It costs a lot of money to get a mold, but we like finished looks. We don't want you having some DIY backyard job on a $20,000 jet ski. So this is gonna look dope, and this is gonna be in carbon fiber options and in regular options. I'll put this side back together. You do the other side the same way. I'll put it back together and let you see how it is, but with you riding and this having frog skin here, no water is gonna go through here. It's the same stuff. The frog skin is the same people who made our pre-filter for our air intake system. Water won't get through there. It shields right off. It deflects, goes right through here. But the ram air effect is going to tunnel, blow air into here. And this opening, it has a crack. It's not totally flush up against here. So any extra water will flood right down into your foot wells, right out the back, just like normal. No problem at all. You don't have to worry about putting a bunch of hole. You can just put one functional hole that's here and it looks finished. And this is how it should be done. So I'll put it together so you guys can see it.
everything's back together. We got this drying to hold this side down because we did this one different. We had to cut it so we can see how far we can get it open to make the mold go down. And then this bolt stays here, but on this side, you see we kept the bolt in there. So we'll, we scanned it, went over this, to see if we can keep this here and still keep this open where air flows, water flows right over it and goes right back out where you see daylight into the footwell. So water will not go up and defeat gravity, but the frog skins is there just in case something wonky happens or you do something totally ridiculous and flip this thing over, which is almost impossible to flip a 300, but you guys will figure it out. But we are here to defeat that. The frog skins is good. And when we already went and tested this, we've been running it for a while. It's about a 30 degree temperature difference in the hull, not two or anything else. And we're gonna show you the video with the temp sensors in five different locations, right in the front, two on the side of the motor, two in the back of the motor. And we'll get that video up to you probably in about a week. But I just wanted to show you what to expect for the Ram Air wet jet system. And remember, these will be one molded piece, finished like factory, not the cut up prototypes. This is gonna be carbon fiber or plastic, or it may just be carbon fiber only. But we already got the plastic ones done, probably about 50, and we're waiting on the carbon fiber to get done. And then they'll start heading this way. And we already have the pre-cut frog skins made specifically for us. Showing you how to cool these monsters down and get the efficiency up. And also, besides good gas mileage from getting cool air, this baby runs on our stage one tune with air intake supporting mods. I'm hitting 87 miles an hour, stage one, reliability, about 8,500 RPM. You can't beat that. Stock prop, not repitched. You showed you the video where we hit 84 miles an hour. And with this system right here, cooling and putting direct air on it, all the way in the back, because we have another piece that we are not haven't showed you yet that goes in the back, sprays cold air right onto the air intake and protects it from water. It bumps it up another three, four miles an hour. So I want to show you all that and show you why we take care of you. And we're going to make everything look finished here. No hack jobs. We're going to get you right from wet jet performance. The finished kit is going to be roughly about 249 with the carbon fiber front pieces and about probably like 299, 259, somewhere around there. And then the back air vents that's gonna go here or there, that'll be another probably about 150, 200 bucks. So the whole system will be efficient. It will make this thing a real ram air system where air can flow in and flow out. And also air can come in this way and get directly to your air intake where you need the air the most. So I just wanted to show you guys that and let you know what's coming from WetJet Performance. We're busting our butt. It takes a little bit longer here because like you say, we just don't go out and test it on the alley and say, hey, it works great. We hit 87 miles an hour. We want to figure out how we can make it fail. We throw, we splash water all the way up here. Dove wave jumped on purpose to see if the, the water got in here. It was maybe drops of water that made it into the hull, not water water. Because when the water comes through here, it pretty much goes right back out here into the footwell. And when it hits up on the frog skin, that's waterproof, not water resistant. So the air can flow through, but water is too dense to go through, bounces right off, goes right in here. We like things that look finished here. Not a whole bunch of Swiss cheese holes. It's one big hole with the frog skin cut directly for it. Looks like it's meant to be like this. We like things that look good. You spend money on this machine, you don't need to come home and hack it up to get an extra three, four miles an hour. And we're all just going nowhere in particular on the lake. Everybody just wants to have the fastest ski on the lake and have that dig measuring contest. But at the end of the day, we're all going nowhere in particular. We're going to the sandbar. It's just bragging rights. We want to keep you reliable. We want to keep you safe. And most of all, we want it to look finished. If you sell this thing, we want it to look like you did it right. There's money invested into this thing. It's not DIY, unproven, untested. We got insurance here, a hell of a lot of it, to make it right. So trust in Cowboy B, trust in WetJet Performance. We're going to get you right, not quick. We're going to R&D and get it to you the right way. Rather have you waiting for my parts than out there waiting for a tow while you're sinking. Peace.